Find the equation of the circle passing through the points 4 comma 1 and 6 comma 5 and whose center is on the line 4x plus y equals to 16. Pause the video. Give this a shot. Okay, let's do this together. Let's first plot this. We have these two points 4 comma 1 and 6 comma 5. Both of these lie on the circle and the center of the circle lies on this line. You can see that this line splits this circle into two. So the center lies on this line 4x plus y equals to 16. Now, how do we use this to find the equation of the circle? Well, we can start with a circle with some variables. Let's assume that the center is h comma k and the radius is r. Using this, we can form the equation. That's x minus h square plus y minus k square equals to r square. Here h and k are the coordinates of the center. r is the radius. This equation is satisfied by these two points. 4 comma 1 and 6 comma 5 satisfy this equation because they lie on the circle. So we can plug these values in. If we plug in these two, we get 4 minus h square plus 1 minus k square equals to r square. That's first equation. And then when we plug in 6 comma 5, we get 6 minus h square plus 5 minus k square equals to r square. Now we can eliminate r square. Both of these are equal to r square. So this left hand side is equal to this left hand side. Now we can open the squares and simplify. We get 16 minus 8h plus h square plus 1 minus 2k plus k square equals to 36 minus 12h plus h square plus 25 minus 10k plus k square. Both sides have h square plus k square, h square plus k square. We can cancel that out. This becomes 16 minus 8h plus 1 minus 2k equals to 36 minus 12h plus 25 minus 10k. Now we can combine the like terms. We have minus 8h and minus 12h. This becomes 4h minus 2k minus 10k, 10k goes to this side, this becomes plus 8k. Then we have 36 plus 25 minus 17, this becomes 44. So 4h plus 8k equals to 44. We can also divide this by 4, we get h plus 2k equals to 11. That's one equation in h and k. Can we get one more equation? Yes, this line passes through the center, which means the center h comma k satisfies this equation, 4x plus y equals to 16. So we can plug in h comma k in this equation, we get 4h plus k equals to 16. Now we have two equations and two variables, we can solve for h and k. Let's do that. This is 4h plus k, this is h plus 2k, let's multiply this by 4. 4h plus 8k equals to 44. And then let's subtract one from the other, we get 8 minus 1, that's 7k. 44 minus 16, that's 28, which means k is equal to 4. Plugging k equals to 4 here, this gives 4h is 12, which means h is equal to 3. So h is 3, k is 4, which means our center is 3 comma 4. So we got the center. Now it's time to get the radius. We can plug 3 comma 4 in one of these equations to get the radius. Or we can simply say that the distance from 3 comma 4 of one of these points will give us the radius. So 4 minus 3 square plus 1 minus 4 square, that's equal to r square. We plugged in 3 comma 4 in this first equation. This gives us 1 plus minus 3 square, that's 1 plus 9, that's 10. So r square is 10, which means the radius is root 10. Now we can plug this back and get the equation. So equation is x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square equals to 10. r square is 10, r is root 10. Now we can end it here, this also works. And sometimes we would like to expand this as well and write the equation in the standard form x square plus y square minus 6x minus 8y plus 15 equals to 0. This is the equation of this circle. Let's try another one. Find the equation of the circle passing through the points 2 comma 3 and minus 1 comma 1 and whose center is on the line x minus 3y minus 11 equals to 0. Pause the video. Try this out. Okay. Similar approach. We have this circle. The points 2 comma 3 and minus 1 comma 1 lie on this circle and this center passes through this line. So we can assume that the center is h comma k and the radius is r. The equation becomes x minus h square plus y minus k square equals to r square. These two points satisfy the equation. So plugging them in, 2 minus h square plus 3 minus k square equals to r square and minus 1 minus h square plus 1 minus k square equals to r square. Equating left hand side of both these equations, we have 2 minus h square plus 3 minus k square equals to minus 1 minus h square plus 1 minus k square. Opening the squares, we have 4 minus 4h plus h square plus 9 minus 6k plus k square equals to 1 plus 2h plus h square plus 1 plus k square minus 2k. 
h square plus k square cancel out. We have 4 minus 4h plus 9 minus 6k equals to 1 plus 2h plus 1 minus 2k. Now combining like terms, minus 4h plus 2h becomes 6h. 4h comes to this side. Minus 2k is here, minus 6k is here, bringing minus 6k to this side. We have 6 minus 2, 4k. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then here we have 13. So 13 minus 2 is 11. So the equation becomes 6h plus 4k equals to 11. This is one equation in h and k. We can get the other one by plugging in h and k in this equation. h minus 3k minus 11 equals to 0 or h minus 3k equals to 11. Now let's find h and k. We can multiply this by 6. We have 6h minus 18k equals to 66. Subtracting one from the other, 4 minus minus 18 is 22. 11 minus 66 is minus 55. So k is minus 5 by 2. We got the y coordinate. Plugging k as minus 2.5. This is 3 times 2.5. That's 7.5 minus minus plus. So h plus 7.5 is 11. So h is 3.5 or 7 by 2. h is 7 by 2. k is minus 5 by 2. We got the center. Plugging this in one of these equations, we can get the radius as well. 2 minus 7 by 2 square plus 3 plus 5 by 2 minus minus plus squared is equal to r square. This is minus 3 by 2 square plus 11 by 2 squared equal to r square. This is 9 by 4. This is 121 by 4. Adding these two, we get 130 by 4. That's r square. So radius is square root of this. We can plug this back to get the equation. x minus 7 by 2 square plus y plus 5 by 2 square equals to 130 by 4. This is also fine. Or we can expand this and write it in the standard form. x square plus y square minus 7x plus 5y minus 14 is equal to 0. Let's try one more. Find the equation of the circle with radius 5 whose center lies on x-axis and passes through the point 2 comma 3. We have the radius. We know that the center lies on x-axis and we know that the circle passes through the point 2 comma 3. Pause the video. Try this out. I encourage you to try solving this visually. Okay, let's do this together. Focus on this point 2 comma 3. The center is 5 units away from 2 comma 3 and the center is on the x-axis. Think about it. This is 2 comma 3. The center is on the x-axis. It could be on the left hand side of 2 comma 3. It could be on the right hand side of the 2 comma 3 as well. That's why we have not one but two circles here. Both these circles work for us. The center for both of them is on the x-axis and it's at a distance of 5 units from 2 comma 3. Now that we have the figure, how can we solve for the center of both these circles? So if this is 2 comma 3, if we come down here, this point is 2 comma 0. This distance is 3 units because the coordinates for this point is 2 comma 3, which means we are 3 units above the x-axis. So this length is 3 units. This hypotenuse of this right angle triangle is 5. We know that the radius is 5. So this is 5, this is 3. This means this becomes 4 units. This also becomes 4 units which means that the center of the circle is 4 units to the right and to the left of 2 comma 0. 2 plus 4 is 6 and 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So the centers are minus 2 comma 0 and 6 comma 0. We have the centers. We already know the radius. So we can get the equation. x plus 2 square plus y square equals to 25, which is 5 squared. And here we have x minus 6 squared plus y squared is equal to 25. And that's our answer. We have not one, but two circles satisfying the condition. Now this is the visual way, but here's the algebraic way of solving it. Let's assume that the center is h comma k and radius is r, like we did in the previous two questions. The center lies on the x axis, which means k is equal to zero. Its y coordinate is zero. We have x minus h square plus y minus zero squared equals to five square. We know the radius is five. Now we need to figure out h and we know that the circle passes to the point two comma three. So two comma three satisfies this equation x equals to 2 and y equals to 3 gives us 2 minus h squared plus 3 squared equals to 25. That's 2 minus h squared equals to 25 minus 9. That's 16. So 2 minus h is plus minus square root of 16. That's 4. 2 minus h is plus minus 4. So either 2 minus h is 4, which means h is minus 2, or 2 minus h is minus 4, which gives h as 2 plus 4. That's 6. So these are our centers, 6 comma 0 and minus 2 comma 0. From here, we can get the equations.